There's definitely a lack of awareness in the general public about Ski Link. People say it's a transportation solution. Some sort of big, massive uh, playground for skiing. Ski Link is a proposal to connect via ski lift uh, the Canyon Ski Resort with Solitude Ski Resort in Big Cottonwood Canyon. It's got also this threat of a congressional action which would override the Forest Service, force the Secretary of Agriculture to sell public lands to a developer. That development would run through an, an area that's proposed by Congressman Matheson to be a wilderness area. It does set precedent for just sort of handing over public assets, which belong to all of us, to a select group of people. Once you privatize public lands, you potentially limit access to not only rock climbing resources, but to other non-motorized or outdoor recreation opportunities that people could have in the Wasatch. Where we usually go hiking, it'll become like private property. One of the pressures that we're seeing in these canyons is an increasing uh, demand for uh, vehicles getting into these canyons, kind of overriding some of the capacity of the canyon highways. But really, when I sat down and I actually read their reports, it's really not about transportation, it's about ski area expansion. They're trying to wrap it as this transportation initiative and that's really not the truth because you've got to take five lifts within the canyons and a hundred dollar lift ticket to get up there. So there has to be some other reason why they want to do this. On its own it may just be one proposal from one ski resort to another, but they've mentioned that that's only the first step in a series of lifts that they're trying to put in to connect all of the resorts in the Wasatch. Basically what you're doing is you're, you're putting this infrastructure into pristine backcountry and how are you going to get it out if it doesn't work? We have a, a long history of making decisions relating to the canyons that involve the public in an open, transparent, in public engagement process. And one of my biggest concerns with Ski Link is that that public process is missing. They've kind of gone around all of the local governments and they're uh, doing it as a purely political process. It's sad that the public hasn't been included. The public definitely needs to have an input. This is our land. Um, it's public land, it's land that skiers use in the wintertime, mountain bikers use in the summertime, hikers, backpackers, hunters, campers. Different people from all different walks of life love to recreate in Big Cottonwood and Little Cottonwood Canyon. If we lose the qualities of these mountains today, uh, it'll never return. This is our home and all we have to do is fight for its protection and we'll have this for generations to come.